Organizing your craft room can be overwhelming and expensive. It's so hard to know where to start, especially if you're on a tight budget. If you think a search on Pinterest will help, you're wrong because you'll be met with craft room perfection. Huge custom spaces filled with pretty supplies all sorted by color. Not quite the budget-friendly options you're really looking for. If you want winning storage solutions that are affordable and practical, you're going to love today's video. I'm sharing my personal favorites, one of which costs less than a dollar. I'll also share with you my secret way to find the best storage options. Once you know this trick, you'll be able to find affordable storage that's going to work the best for you. First up, I wanna share with you some divided storage options. These options are perfect for dividing up spaces within your craft room. So starting with these, these are shelf dividers. So you can use them to separate items on your shelf units. You can see them in action behind me. Right here, I've got them to support and help hold in place all of my scrapbook collections. They are super easy to set up. You just slide them onto your bookshelf into position and there is a little piece of felt there at the bottom just to help protect the bookshelf itself. These are a fabulous way to separate out your pattern papers and cardstock. And I love that they're clear because even if you are going to separate, say maybe decorative items or other boxes, you can still see through them. Next, I wanna share with you these acrylic drawer dividers. So I took a long time to find these because they extend out to 30 centimeters. Not all drawer dividers will do that. 30 centimeters is important because that's the size of all of our scrapbook paper. So I wanted the option to be able to pop these into a drawer that would also hold my full sheets of paper. So all you need to do is lift up this lever, pull it out to the size that you want, and then lock it into place. They're super sturdy. I really, really love these ones. Uh, let's organize a drawer together. Next up, I wanna show you this two tier drawer organizer. I have several of these actually. I have some in my kitchen, I have one in my caravan, and I can't wait to get this set up into my craft space. It has two sliding drawers that work very independently of each other, which I love. And inside the drawer, you have some dividing options. So these pieces do slide in and out so that you can have it set up for um, three spaces, two spaces, or as a full drawer. I love too that it's clear. It's going to go with all kinds of craft room spaces, very compact and very durable. This one also fits super well into the IKEA storage units that many crafters have. And I think it's a really good option if you want to build some smaller storage units within the cubes. Next up on divided storage, I had to include these mesh zippered pouches. I have so many of these in my craft space. They are so handy dandy and they come in a bunch of sizes. I love this smaller size for things like die cuts, pens and pencils, even um, little bits of computer. So um, my chargers, 
memory sticks, that kind of thing. So um, that kind of equipment, I do store those in these little pouches. And I love that you can just gather similar supplies and pop them in a little bag and they're all together ready to go. These ones do have a label spot on the front, which is also really, really smart. You can separate anything out with these pouches. Um, and I wanna show you the different sizes. So this one is a slightly bigger one and I store all of my uh, stencils in here. So they're all together. I love that I can just grab this pouch and have all of my stencils. I can flick through, choose one that I want. And when I'm done, it's very simple to just slide it back in there, zip it up and stack it back on my shelf. These do all stand up, even the cheaper ones. So this brand here is Avery L and it is a little bit more expensive. It's kind of like the branded version. And these are the like the Amazon no brand, no name brand. Um, but these stand up as well. Once they have a few things in them, they do stack perfectly fine side by side on um, the shelf. Now, my favorite of all of these is actually this one. This is 13 inches by 13 inches. And that's the same, that's all of these. They're all the same and they are perfect for storing collections. So I will put a full scrapbook collection in here and then slide it up onto my shelf. So they're not, these particular ones are not like crazy cheap, but I just find them so handy that they're, and they're gonna last a lifetime. As soon as you've finished using up a collection, you can reuse it for the next one. So they're, they're one of my favorite storage items in my entire craft room. I'll be sure to link all of the products that I'm sharing today in the description box below, as well as some free resources that will help you get your craft room organized. Are you joining me for the Paper Crafters Get Organized Summit? Tickets to this three-day event are free and you can grab yours by clicking the link below. 29 amazing creatives from around the world are sharing not only how they organize, but the why behind their organizing techniques so that you can apply the tips and tricks to your space. I can't wait for us all to get organizing together. To learn more, click the link below and you'll be emailed all of the details. Now I need to share with you my secret way to get the best storage at the best price. And that is to not look for craft room specific storage. What you'll want to find is storage that actually comes from other areas of the home that you can adapt into a craft space. Generally speaking, when you find storage options that are exclusively made for crafters, you will end up paying more for them. So my big tip is to think outside the box. Don't put into Google a search that is scrapbooking paper organizer because you'll only see uh, results for craft rooms, specifically designed products for craft rooms and for scrapbook paper. What you want to do is maybe search on dimensions or look for options that are more about kitchen storage, um, linen storage, bathroom storage, because those containers will still fit your pattern papers and craft supplies, but they'll come at a far more affordable price. Here's a really good example of that. This is actually a two tier spice rack that is meant for a kitchen bench top. And I want to repurpose this as desktop storage. I think this will be fabulous to hold mixed media supplies, inks and sprays, pens and pencils and scissors. It's got a very narrow uh, width here. So it will sit up against the wall at the back of a desk really, really well. It's super sturdy. It is actually all stainless steel. So it's going to be able to hold quite a lot of weight. It's going to stand the test of time. And I think it's fabulous. So yes, and it is actually called a spice rack. Here's another example of this. This is actually called a narrow fridge organizer and it is designed to go into a fridge. 
but it holds 12 by 12 inch scrapbook papers perfectly. I have these in Ziploc baggies. So these are actually in very inexpensive uh, 13 by 13 inch Ziploc bags. And I've just popped a full collection in there and it fits perfectly into this storage box. If you are looking for boxes like this, be sure to choose ones that do not taper in at the bottom. So you don't want them to have a side that looks like this. You want it to be very up and down, very straight this way and not come in at the bottom. That's just to get the maximum amount of storage from your container. It will also help them when they sit side by side because anytime you have like a tapered bottom, you've got all that wasted space there. I love these and they're super, super inexpensive. Now I did promise you a super inexpensive storage option and this is it right here. This is an S hook and these cost less than a dollar. They are perfect for expanding out the storage that you already have. Anywhere that you can hook this little, little fellow, you can expand out your storage. Let me show you. Remember the two tier spice rack turned desktop organizer? Well, this little guy can hook onto here and give you some extra storage options. So even little things like tape, but also our scissors, any, anything. You, anywhere you can hook this and anything that you can hook onto here is going to give you loads and loads more storage options. So well worth picking up a packet of these. I also wanna share with you this. This is actually what's called a cable management system. And this is about organizing, but it's also about having a very clean and clear space. And I actually feel like this is a really good uh, sort of safety thing as well. It's for all of your cables. So if you're anything like me, you have a lot of things to plug in in your craft room. So I do run a power board and this actually stores my power, oh, my power board inside. So it fits, the power board fits in here and you can see it's got these little holes that's for the cables to come out of. And I love that that whole power situation is contained. Um, it's also pretty because instead of having the mess of all the cables, you have this pretty box to look at. But I also feel like it's a bit safer because no one's going to sort of knock this over. All of the, the cables are protected inside. So this is a must have for my craft room. I get so many questions about my stacking storage for papers and embellishments. This one here. And it's actually a custom made unit, which I know is not that affordable for many of you. So I've actually found this alternative. This is a three drawer unit and it is longer than 12 by 12. So I think these drawers are 13 by 13. So yes, they do hold full pattern papers. So this is uh, one of the newer collections I have and it stores in here beautifully. These are also stackable. So you can build your collection over time. So you can get a couple of these to start and then over time add to them as you get more supplies and as your budget allows. It fits in there perfectly. And they're a really lovely deep size. I am like really, really happy with this option. And I think it's a great alternative if you don't want to get something custom made. There really are so many different storage options on the market. And I do encourage you to think outside the box. Don't just look for those craft room storage pieces. Look in your kitchen section, in the laundry and bathroom aisles, because I think you might be surprised at the items that you find. I know you want the craft room of your dreams and the perfect storage containers will help you get there. But you might be horrified to know that you could be organizing and decluttering all wrong. I share the big mistakes I've made while decluttering and organizing my craft room so that you don't have to make them too. Find out exactly what they are by watching this video next. I'll see you all again very soon. Until then, bye.